Hello, I'm Satoshi Yamamoto um, from uh, Livingston, Montana. Uh, today I'm going to tie the uh, split shock merger with um, high vis wing. Um, CDC wing, CDC back was the original, and then uh, when I when I cast a bit longer, and then uh, 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 even even on the calm you know calm stretch like flat section of the spring creeks mm, it can be a bit hard to see so that's why i kind of developed this uh, kind of high vis wing and then uh, uh, every now and then we have some uh, winds uh, breeze so uh, this high vis wing really helps and then uh, it still um, produces the same you know uh, catching uh, result so uh, well let's get started this must be the size 18 or 20 here, and then I tie with uh, Daiwiki 310, um, size 18. Okay, again, um, Beaver Thread 16 all. Okay, the uh, life flex split in just about a half, you know. Um, as you tie smaller hooks, like uh, um, as you as you tie with smaller hooks, like size um, 22, even down to 24. You'd be splitting into a third or a quarter, and then, uh, yeah. Okay. Next thing is next material instead of CDC, I'm going to use a white synthetic fibers like a Zilong or uh, you know any kind of similar materials. Montana Fly, Zian, or Widow's Web, it's all same. Alright. Next material is again um, Goose Biots. And I repeat this kind of short and fine uh, hair. This 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 side should be facing uh, uh, the rear end of the fly. Next time. Uh, uh, is wrapping over the previous time to make a nice and smooth um, abdomen. Usually I make four turns, so probably for smaller sizes it could be only three. Um, three turns, but. Uh, Okay, next I'm going to put this, uh, uh, so for this version, Hakko comes the last, you know, next, and the last last material to tie in, you know, see for the, with the CDC back, uh, CDC was folded over at the end, but uh, this one, uh, this uh, wing comes first, I'm sorry, the uh, split check and then the, uh, back and then uh, this hybrid wing comes first and this is not really a parachute but I like to make a little um, kind of same same procedure as, as we do on the parachute you know for the base of the parachute it's a bit delicate here kind of hold 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 the you know this uh, wing hybrid wing then
Okay, this should be really good. This, uh, this, uh, just, uh, this little effort, uh, make this uh, wing, you know, standing up all the time. Then, uh... Okay, when I tie in the uh, hako, haku feather for this type of fly, I like to make two two wraps behind the uh, wing and then another two wraps in front of the wing and then uh, this should hold this should hold this uh, hack of feathers really well okay one two and then uh, let's make two turns in front of the uh, wing two here we go Okay. We finish. And uh, if you want to be kind of careful, you want to be a, make a nicer fly. You can trim kind of. Haku fibers, you know, that's not uh, cooperating. Then uh, trim this uh, wing just about this much. And then um, trim the bottom of the hako flat. Then uh, shark could be just about uh, probably body lengths or pro uh, uh, the uh, hook shank lengths, the longest. Then like uh, many uh, many other midge patterns I like to use um, I always tie in uh, gray olive and then light olive and also I tie in uh, uh, this is 18 20 22 down to 24 Again, those are four colors and a couple of different uh, sizes. That should cover uh, most of the midge situation at uh, uh, Spring Creeks in the Livingston or uh, uh, in your area. So, uh, since this is not CDC, uh, you can use kind of you know regular uh, oil type floatant. So, but uh, well, thank you for watching.